What's up guys? So we're gonna do our experiment on the uh, axillary buds today. And Holly's gonna make noise in the background, uh, just as she does every time we hit record. So maybe she'll be, be quiet. So Cameron and I have got a good many elbows out here on the table. And so as I told y'all in the last video, my theory is that the whatever color is on the axillary bud right now, depending upon the amount of white or green, I'm thinking that that will translate into how much variegation is gonna be on the new growth and that leaf. So what we're gonna do is go through and we're take pictures, close up, real close up pictures of each bud and label it. And then we're just gonna watch it, watch it grow. Now some we've waited a little too late, so I'm not gonna take pictures of it. But it would be super cool if we did take pictures before this guy um, decided to bust out because you can see a little bit of green. Now he's, a, he's got a lot of white, um, a little too much white, um, a little too much for my liking. But we'll just have to see you know, what happens as it grows. And then, let's see, we'll show you some examples of what we're talking about. Cam, can you get in good on that one? I can move this leaf a little bit. Now he's got some nice modeling. It's just a good mixture of green and white. So I got a good feeling that he's going to turn out, you know, with some really good just splashed variegation. This one's already busted out as well. But he's got nice green on him. Is the camera showing it okay? Yeah, it's taking a second to focus. Okay. He's got some nice, actually there's a lot of white on that one too. And then we've got one in a minute when I find it that is um, what we think is going to be half moon because it's pretty much split right down the middle, green and white. And then, let's see, here's another one, Cam, if you can get up close to it. It's got some nice, looks like nice modeling to it. I can hold my hand behind it. Yeah, you might need. Does that help? Yeah. So it's got some pretty nice splotching. So we'll see what that develops into. And so here is the one that we notched back in December. And uh, the last update, she hadn't done a whole lot, but now that the weather's gotten warm, if you look down here at the very base, uh, we've got a bud that is for sure activated and busting out. Can you get in on it? There you go. So we didn't get a picture of it before it busted through, um, but it does have white and some green on it. And then we can check. All right, so here would be the second one. I can't tell if it's activated or not. It's slightly swollen, but sometimes they'll just do that and then not do anything. But it looks like it is. So that's the number two node. And then the one right below the notch, you can't hardly see it because the petiole is in the way. Maybe you can just see the top half. And then the one on the very top, looks kind of uh, kind of hard to see whether it's got a green streaking in it or if it's just a kind of tinted green. So we'll just have to see what that one does. But pretty cool how many we've got activated off of that one, you know, top cut and then the notch. And so anyway, we're just gonna watch these guys. Um, it'll probably take, it'll take a few months because they've actually got to come out, form a stem, leaf out, and we got to go back and compare the picture of the leaf to the picture of the bud. So y'all stay tuned for that one. It'll be pretty neat. Maybe it works, maybe it won't. So we're at my home greenhouse now. There's Scarlett and Larry. And uh, I was looking at this low variegated Monstera here. And I think it'll help us with our experiment a lot. This thing's only got like a couple percent variegation. So I went through and I marked each bud. So I'm going to show y'all at the very bottom, we're going to start here and I'll probably have to put my hand in so we can focus, if we can even focus. Let's see. Okay, 
So there's the very first bud. And it's pretty much all green. I know that's brown bark on it, but it's pretty much all green, whether you can see that or not. I don't know. Then we go around to the other side. We've got that one there. We've got some white, but not a whole lot. And then, of course, this was the bud that was right below that I cut. So that's where the new growth came out, and it's not very, very, not very <laughs> variegated. Um, so what I'm thinking, this one here has got a good bit of variegation to it. See that white? Not as much as we're still wanting though. And we'll flip her around. And look at this one up in here though. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm just gonna wanna focus on every, there we go. So that's got a good bit of white to it. I have a lot of phones jumping. Sorry, this is kind of impromptu video. And then that guy right there is really nice too. It's got a lot of variegation uh, right around the uh, perimeter. And this one's this one has the most though. So here's what I'm thinking. You see where I drew those two uh, rings around it? That's where I'm gonna cut her. That way we can activate this one with the most variegation right here and then I'm gonna cut it here which will give us a top cut that guy's he's gonna remain low variegated just because he's a top cut um, but then we can activate this bud on the underside sorry camera work sucking today uh, we can activate that one so then we'll get to see for sure so uh, if this theory works so I'm gonna Cut it. I'm gonna have to put the phone down because I don't have my tripod today, but I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna just keep an eye on them and see what happens to them.